So hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ray's back for a YouTube video and I have been uh, working a lot on art of uh, getting more FPS on Roblox. That's why I was not uploading a lot on um, YouTube about Roblox. But yeah, if you wa watched my last video, watch it too. It's the same video, but I have a few more tricks to get more FPS. Uh, you can follow this video to even get more FPS and at the end of the video, I'll also teach you guys how to get RBS FPS on Locker for free. And with these methods, you will get above 60 FPS. And to get above 60 FPS, because Roblox locks it, to get above 60 FPS, you need to do, need uh, RBX FPS on Locker. So I will teach you guys that too. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So all right, guys, I'm back in the video. As you can see, I have my OBS running right now. So what I'm gonna do is search up Roblox uh, player. So just search up Roblox player on your search bar. Go just go in your search bar. And click on open file location once you click on open file location you will see these two uh, things now just right click on roblox player and click on open file location after that you're, you'll be here so now what you have to do is click on uh, platform content and then pc and then you'll see these three folders now what you have to do is just click on textures and you'll see all these folders by the way a reminder um, by following the steps you uh, uh, you know you'll not see some te uh, textures in your game like some sometimes uh, something can't pop up some some things will be black but yeah you if you can do this to get more FPS and it's not that bad so it can only happen sometimes and it's not that big of a deal so what you have to do is select all of these folders select all of these folders but um, uh, don't select these three ones these three DDS files just select all of these folders and then delete them But don't delete these three DDS files because they are very important All right guys, so yeah, let's get in the second trick so go over your search bar again and then type in um, where, where is it? Uh, Roblox studio all right, so Roblox studio right there click on uh, open and then open it uh, And I'll be right back when it's open Alright guys, uh, we are in Roblox Studio, now what you have to do is uh, go over to the file and cl click on it, now go to settings. Once you are in settings, go over to rendering and it will say this, just click on ok. Now you are here, now what you have to do is go to performance tab and then set the quality level to, it will be level 10 or 15 or 20, 21, but you can uh, just set it to level 1. And edit quality level 2, set it to 1, it will be whatever but it will be automatic or something but yeah do that uh uncheck ego bulk extension uncheck render cgs strangle debug uncheck shadow bounding boxes uncheck auto frm level uncheck reload assets and in graphics mode set it to direct x direct 3d 11 so set it to direct 3d 11 uncheck export merge by material uh frame rate manager to turn it off mesh mesh cache size just change it or leave it uh, I don't really know about that one but yeah you can just copy my settings now what you have to do is go to mm, uh, studio I think no no not studio network and what you have to do is uncheck everything and then once you're in game options uh, the chat the chat history to 100 uh, report of view chat history to 50 uh, ch chat scroll length to 5 bubble chat max bubbles to 3 um, bubble chat lifetime to 30 uh, hardware uh, mouse uh, s s turn it on override script I don't really know what to do there software sound check it and video quality now set it to low resolution it will be high and or medium but set it to low and go over to diagnostics and uh, just uh, is scripts tra tracing enable just check it uh, take count precise precise uh, report sounds physics everything is good now all right so now you can close this you need to save it all right guys so once once that's done i'll go in your search button and type in run once you open it and just type in percent uh, percentage temp percentage click on ok and you'll be in this folder uh and now what you have to do is select all and click on delete and yeah these files are not important and they take a lot of space as you guys can see they take a lot of space and uh, some for some of you guys if you have space problem there can be 10 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes worth of files here and this is totally safe Th these are just the files the computer uh, if you see these just just click on continue uh, but yeah these are just uh, the junk files the computer doesn't need 
and yeah it doesn't need it so it's there and now after it can say this action can be completed just click on do this for all current items and click on skip now some items might not get deleted because discord crashes never gets deleted i don't know why i think it's important for discord but you don't really need it if you can find a way to delete it you know it's it's possible let me see how much gigabyte oh it's only four megabytes you don't really need to do that all right guys once you delete the temp files again go to your search bar and type in run now uh, once the run is open just type in pre fetch p r e f e t c s and click on enter now you'll be in this folder now just delete all of the files there i only have two files because i've already deleted it deleted it but there might be thousands of files in your prefetch and you don't really need it because prefetch are the files i think the computer only needs once and then it doesn't need it at all so yeah after that's done uh this is one of the most important uh important steps what you have to do is download cc cleaner uh if you want to know how to download it just go to chrome uh, or any other browser you use and then search up uh what is it cc cleaner download type it in and then you'll be here just click on the second link or the first link it's the same thing and then uh, uh what you have to do is just go over to free and click on download and you uh, successfully download it just install it i'm not gonna go over how to install it but you can just search on youtube how to install it all right so okay my voice all right uh, after that's installed, what you have to do is go on the search bar and type in CC Cleaner. Um, click on Enter and open it because this is the most important step because it makes your computer really fast. So if you want to update, you can update. I don't really want to update. So open it and click on Analyze and it will. Uh, so close all. I'll type in close all and yeah. So no, all right. So just let it analyze. It will analyze it, uh, your computer for a bit and. So, so they'll just analyze uh, the junk in your computer which might make your computer slow and which uh, makes your computer slow and it will reduce some uh, you know you know, it will reduce some space so as you can see 41,400 megabytes of junk which means 41 gigabytes and it, it also tracks hackers and stuff so uh, just click on clean all and yeah just click on skip all I guess or close skip all yeah so now I'll clean your PC and I'll get 41 gigabytes of free space. Now I can install tons of games on 41 gigs. So after, just wait for it till it's done. Don't don't uh, close it. Uh, it will say 100% it's done and stuff. And yeah, I'll be back when it's done. And don't close if it's not done. All right, guys. So once the cleaning will be done, it'll, it will say your PC is feeling fresh and cleaning complete. And yeah, I just got 41 gigabytes of space. So after doing that, go to registry and just click on scan. Uh, click on scan for issues, and then it'll scan all over your computer if you have any issues. Uh, and it will also get your performance because, as you can see, Intel graphics control panel, and it'll, it'll fix all the issues if you have some performance issues. If you have any optimization uh, issues, you know, I'm sorry for my English, but it'll search all up on all over the, your PC and finds issues and it'll just take a take it'll take a, lo a lot of time if you haven't done this before but now okay once it's done click on fix selected issues and click on the no if uh, if you want to just do it but yeah i have 141 uh, problems and fix all selected issues and it'll be done in a second you know not even a second actually so yeah once that's done you can close it uh, then uh, if, if you want more FPS again, what do you do while playing Roblox? Just play, uh, click on Roblox and then c uh, close your browser. So let's say I go to Google Chrome and then I run Roblox. After Roblox is completely open, just close your Google Chrome or whatever you use and it'll give you some better performance. Uh, one, also, once you're playing Roblox, just go on, go on Task Manager and then and then uh, just do uh, just end task of things that you don't need don't end task uh, uh, system apps but if you see like OBS and stuff Google Chrome or discord you know you can just click on it uh, and then click on end task I don't want to do it because I don't want to why is my CPU at 100% I don't know okay Google Chrome okay as you see my CPU is getting 67% usage just click on end task and you know my CPU is free you know my CPU is chilling right now so yeah, 
uh, you can do that while playing Roblox. You can also go to details and find Roblox and then right click on it and then set priority and click on real time. But it only works while Roblox is open. After you've closed it, you have to again do it, uh, the priorities thing. And yeah, you'll get more FPS doing that. Also, guys, if you really are desperate for more FPS and you want to play games like Arsenal or Strucid for uh, competitively, uh, to get more FPS, this will increase like 50 or 60 FPS. I'm gonna um, guarantee it, but search up Intel Graphics con con Command uh, Center or if you have NVIDIA or AMD, just go into the control panel of your graphics card. Uh, mine is an integrated Intel USD 620 graphics card. It's not even a graphics card, It's a, I mean it, it is, but it's an integrated chip integrated graphics card whatever it's called so just open your graphics control panel and you'll see this just go over to your display it'll be like display and everything so you'll see resolution now it's gonna it's gonna be set to your maximum value or your recommended value uh, what do you what you can do is go down to 1280 times 720 uh, this will set your PC's resolution to 720p I don't really want to do it because yeah, I'm recording right now. So just uh, set it to 720p or low. Like you can go to 800 by 600, but the game will look really, really, really bad when you do that. So don't do that. Uh, and um, just set it to 720p. Or if you want to get stretch res too, you can click on custom and enter the wow with height and refresh rate and under scan. So yeah. So we can do that to get even more FPS and so yeah guys this is the last step and after doing every single steps I told you guys to you'll definitely get more than 60 FPS especially the one I just told you the resolution one do it do it do it and once that's done what you have to do is just search up RBX unlocker download and then search it on Google and then you're gonna click on the first link and uh, just just click on it and Wafer and it will say if FPS unlocker download here 64 bit download here 32 bit click on download here 64 bit um because my 64 bit and just take a check whatever your uh you know bit your computer so just click on start download it will be done uh just click on open and you need WinRAR for this I'm not gonna go over how to install WinRAR but just install WinRAR just search up on YouTube and just open it and it will sell show you an application just click on extract to and extract it wherever you want. I'll extract it on my F folder, I guess, and just extract it on your F folder and click on OK, and it'll be done in one second. Now, just if you want to get more FPS while playing Roblox, go to where you install it. So I'm gonna go on my F drive, and then I'm gonna search for it. So I found it right here, RBX FPS Unlocker. Uh, just click on the application while you're running Roblox. So open Roblox and then click for this. Uh, click for this, and it will be on your background. So, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys, that's how you install RBX FPS Unlocker and also get more FPS on Roblox. I will highly appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe, and watch the whole video. I think if you're here, you have already watched it, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys on my next video, bye.